What is up, Sideways fam? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got another IS300 in the shop this week, and um, it's our buddy Squire's car. There's another uh, video that we're gonna be putting up as well of us doing the full suspension upgrade in this car. Uh, we pretty much did everything, as I said before, out of the full Cusco catalog. It's got all the brand new fixed bushings through the whole entire car. Uh, you've got, put brand new Fortunato coilovers on it. It pretty much has the works done as far as suspension. He even has uh, the Zeal endless brakes that we went ahead and installed as well. Everything's black, so we're gonna go with like a murdered out black theme for this. It's a beautiful car. I'm gonna go ahead and walk around again, show it really quickly again for anybody who hasn't seen this, talk about the car for a few minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the engine out because the 2JZ GE completely stock automatic car is no longer gonna be a GE and no longer gonna be a automatic. He has a fully built, uh, rebuilt RM54 that he has in the, in the office. They've already gone ahead and done the works through. Uh, he went ahead and uh, already has an engine that we're already building on a stand for him and getting together for him. This is gonna be more of a time attack car. So definitely not like a crazy power monster, but he's got a precision turbo, uh, top mount fuel rail, 1200cc uh, injectors, a full fuel system. He's got um, a hypergate, the excess power exhaust manifold. We may be using the rad uh, anti manifold adapter that just came out since they are local and I mean it is for a really good price and I want to try it out just to see if it's going to have any kind of clearance issues in the vehicle um I don't know we'll have to kind of try it out worst case scenario we do have excess power uh intake manifolds here with our throttle bodies that we do use as well to go ahead and get this thing done not really sure which way we're going to go with this but um it's got to get done because we only have about a week week and a half to have this car on dyno and we have a lot of work to do so let's get it Alrighty, so overall, we're gonna be doing the paint and body work after the car um, gets all the engine work done. But it's a TRD V1 uh, front bumper and side skirts and a Monolista rear bumper. Uh, the interior is actually very, very nice. It's um, got the nice bride seats inside. Everything's been, you know, taken care of very, very nicely. He's got his uh, other setup, nice uh, exhaust system. Just all in all, a really, really nice black IS. Um, and I mean, look at those brakes, you guys. Holy crap. If you want to spend some money, brakes is definitely where to go. I mean, just super badass. So it's got the black housing headlights or whatever. Those are pretty cool. Out has a grill. So we're gonna go ahead and rip this thing apart and get the new engine in. Uh, the engine is... Okay, so as we can see, we got a nice fresh head on the top of this block and uh, you can see it's a 2JZ block. Well, this block we've already went ahead and put uh, GTE rods into. So uh, now he's gonna be able to actually boost this VVTI engine to full potential like we would for any of the GTE engines. And um, we have a set of BC264 cams right here that Caden's unboxing out of the package that we're gonna be installing into the head. Then we'll go ahead and put the manifolds on. We'll put the brand new GTE oil pump on it. Uh, with the crank trigger hookup, you know, we'll go ahead and uh, do all the seals, new water pump, new everything in this engine. Uh, we're gonna do rod bearings, we're gonna do rod bolts, we're gonna do everything for the bottom end. Uh, and we've already put ARP head studs and a brand new Tomei head gasket in it. You can see the ARPs right there. So yeah, guys, this is gonna be super cool uh, for all you guys that were asking about GTE rods and stuff. Uh, yeah, we went ahead and pulled them out of some of the other blocks that we have and took all the parts over. So uh, stay with it so you guys can kind of see uh, the, the benefit of doing this. I mean, obviously, there are other ways to go about doing all this stuff. But I mean, hey, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, deter anybody from doing whatever they want to do it. But I mean, this is definitely a good way for a, a budget build to not have to spend a whole bunch of money. And we did have two sets of, of rods in stock. So we have one more in that block right there uh, that we'll have up for sale for somebody if they need them or whatever. But uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get uh, into this right now and uh, get her back together. All right, guys, so as they're doing this as well, uh, we have a brand new set of our FMS 1300cc injectors that are in box right here that we're gonna be going ahead and putting together. Brand new drift motion fuel rail for the 2JZ GE. Um, we have our own kit for these where basically uh, we've, we, we, we've copied the uh, O-ring from the 1J VBTI to where we're able to go ahead and set these all the way down past where the vacuum seal is. And then we can go ahead and bolt the drift motion rail on. And we do have these uh, top hats in different colors as well. We have them in uh, gold, we have them in silver, we have them in blue, red, a couple other different colors, but uh, super, super nice product. We're gonna be installing these right now and uh, working forward with the rest of the stuff we gotta get done. Alrighty guys, so fuel rails installed, cams are in, we're putting the backing plate on right now for timing marks. And then I'm gonna go over what uh, we all got right here. So we got a brand new serpentine belt tensioner, brand new hydraulic tensioner for the timing belt, brand new OEM Toyota, uh, Italian belt there. We got a brand new oil control valve, which is a VVTI solenoid from Toyota. Uh, this is like 
something that necessarily didn't really need to be replaced, but it's just good to replace anyways, just to avoid having any VTI problems. And it's new, so probably never gonna fail. Uh, this is very expensive, but these actually do fail as well. This is the VTI gear, uh, brand new OEM Lexus Toyota as well. I mean, uh, old parts, you don't kinda wanna deal with any of that stuff, so I like to buy a new stuff if the customer's budget allows it. Uh, brand new complete uh, water pump assembly for this thing uh, that we're gonna be putting on. So that's gonna be awesome to install as well so you can never have any kind of water problems again. Uh, brand new idler uh, in here as well. And then we have a OEM Toyota brand new 2JZ GTE oil pump that the part number has been taken off of here for some reason, I have no idea why. But we're gonna be installing that as well. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get all these parts installed so it can look all nice and pretty. And uh, we'll get on to the next part. Alrighty guys, well look at this. This is a complete front assembly. Everything's been changed. Uh, it looks super beautiful. That's awesome, everything's new. Caden's just finishing tightening down the tensioner. Uh, new belt, new oil pump, new water pump, new front main seal, new idler, new tensioner, new serpentine belt tensioner that's on the floor somewhere, um, new VTI gear, new VTI solenoid, just super, super nice. New cams, new injectors, new fuel rail. So now we're gonna start getting the exhaust manifold fitted up, make sure everything lines up good, um, and get the oil block adapter on right now with the um, oil pressure sensor in it. Alrighty guys, so as we can see, she is out. We're a little bit farther on the 2J. This thing's uh, a lot closer. I got the manifold uh, wastegate already welded on the manifold. So we're gonna start putting the precision on and getting that manifold all torqued down. A uh, few more steps. We have this really, really cool. Well guys, look at this. <whistles> Dang bro. She's looking really pretty. So um, basically I need to put an oil filter on, AC compressor, power steering pump we'll put on in the car. We have a surprise for you guys on the intake manifold. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and be test fitting uh, the brand new Rad Industries um, 2JZ GE to 2JZ GTE uh, plenum adapter. You can see right here, GTE upper, also a GE lower. It is a beautiful piece, but that's gonna be a different video. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, in the car today. We have this uh, RM54 that's already been rebuilt. Uh, that's going in as well. And it's ACT clutch and all the other stuff. So we're gonna get a quick little glimpse of that stuff getting all put together and then getting it in the car today. We've already went ahead and done the ABS delete. The car is over here. Um, after the ABS delete was done, we've already gone ahead and uh, done the pressure washing. So this is all nice and clean now. Yeah, so anyways, uh, ABS delete's already all done and this thing's all nice and clean. So we're gonna go ahead and get the engine in the car. Alrighty guys, so we're almost there. We got the ACT Extreme Clutch Kit right there with the six puck sprung uh, disc. We got the drift motion flywheel with the ARP flywheel bolts already on this thing. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice dang old dang old right there. Right there, brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got the Rebuild RM54 right here. I didn't have a bell housing in stock, so he ended up taking mine. So there you go, Squire. Nice thumbs up to get your engine in your car. This is the brand new Billet IS300 drift motion uh, shift through assembly. It's got a CNC O-ring. It's made of complete Billet aluminum um, with the whole insert piece as well for perfect shifting. Uh, these things are badass. We have one in Jair's car as well. They're about 550 for the whole Billet assembly. Um, kind of hard to get though. So anyways, we're gonna get this in the car. Yeah. Yeah. She's going in guys. Somebody forgot to take off the shifter when we're putting the engine in the car. So now we're stuck and waiting for Vinny. Isn't it so fun taking apart IS interior? Oh yeah. In the bucket seat? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You're almost as skinny as Squire. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so she is in. We still need to paint the intake manifold. We just did some clearance stuff to make sure all that's good. But look at this thing. This is gonna be super beautiful, you guys. Murdered out, all black. Super, super nice, that's how he wanted it. 
Uh, we gotta do intercooler piping, fuel system, a couple other things that like we normally do in all the other videos. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Squire's car will be probably running by the next video that you go ahead and put this together for. That thing just looks badass. Look at that. Super badass. So uh, anyways, guys, till next time, guys, peace.